and peace of Christ to all of you, please invite your friends. And today we will talk about something very, very, uh, very fun. You know, always when we say to Muslims that Muhammad was a pagan person, Muhammad had nothing to do with Abraham, and uh, not only Muslims actually, there's a many, many naive Christians, even those they claim to be priests, they copy the same lie and they report the same lie. So today we are going to show you how the Muslims they will say it doesn't say that CP so let us start with Zakura Mr. Zakura is very well known he's a person trying to grow his beard for the last 20 years he used all kind of fertilizers and finally it's working let us see what you want to say about the religion of Muhammad before Islam the below question was asked by a Christian on Facebook what was the religion of Prophet Muhammad sallam, before he was appointed as a prophet? Mm -hmm. Before I reply to this question, yeah, before, I would like to remind mm -hmm. that most of the non-Muslims and mm -hmm. even some of the Muslims have a misconception that Islam is a new religion uh -huh. that came into existence mm -hmm. after Prophet Muhammad peace True. be upon him. True. And they believe that Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is the founder of the religion of Islam. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, Islam is there since time immemorial. <laughs> since <laughs> man set foot on this earth. <laughs> and Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not the Yeah, I remember. You remember when Allah he created Adam? Adam, if you go to uh, 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 where it says, وَكَنَ الْإِنسَانُ Ajura. If you go to Ibn Kathir, you will see that when Allah was creating Adam, Adam, he sneezed. Uh, and Adam, he wanted to stand up. Uh, but he could not do it, which is very normal. I mean, come on, Allah is creating you. Come on, it's take time. It's very slow, Allah, you know. And the funny, the Muslim, they say the Quran says that Allah, he created Adam by saying be and he was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what is the fashion of a clay? And then he fashioned him as a human. And then he breathed into him. And then after he breathed into him, still Allah is slow. And then Adam, he complained. He says, Allah, <laughs> Hey, my Lord, finish me before the sunset, which is very normal to say to your God, especially you are just in the process of a creation. I mean, maybe, um, I don't know even how Adam, he knew that the sun is going to set soon when this kid, Adam, he was not even a creator yet. I mean, something fishy about this Adam. I mean, come on, he must be a Jew. <laughs> I mean, how he knew, how he knew, huh? Anyway, so if you go and read the interpretation here for this verse, in Ibn Kathir, this is chapter 17, verse number 11. And if you don't believe me, I can go right now. Okay. Chapter 17, verse number 11. You will see that Allah, when he was creating Adam, uh, Adam, you know, he was like bored, like what the heck? What's wrong with this God? You know, like, come on. <laughs> you know, I mean, Christian Prince can finish me faster. You know? Yeah, at that time I wasn't God, you know, but and then later I got the job. Because I created the black stone and I told people, well, kiss my stone and I will forgive your sin. And then I became God. Yeah. So if you go down here, it says, this is, this is, uh, this is Ibn Abbas, Salman al-Farisi, Ibn Kathir, not me. Salman al-Farisi and Ibn Abbas mentioned the story of Adam when he wanted to get up before his soul reached his feet. You see? <laughs> you see that, that how the battery work? I mean, your soul have to reach your feet. Mm. His soul did not reach the feet. I don't want to make a drawing now because I was scared the hell of you in the morning. So the guy, Allah, Allah he put the soul. <laughs> okay, the soul now is going. But Allah is still pushing, you know, it's not going there still. I mean, going to take time. When his soul was breathed into him, it entered his body from his head downward. Actually, if you put your finger in the top of your head, like you cannot see me, I know. Yeah, but this is it's not smart of me to put my hand and or my head. You cannot see me, but I mean, you put your finger there, you will see like there is like a like a uh, like a belly button in your head. Ah, this is where Allah he blew the air in there uh, because Allah don't do French kissing. <laughs> so he put it from his head downward, and where when it reached his brain, his knees. true. I mean, look at this. You see what the soul can do to your brain. So there's the brain. 
but the brain will not function unless like like this is the activation like this is the, the soul cause and you know like you sneeze the first thing you do you sneeze like you know you know so the first thing adam he did he sneeze in, in the face of allah and then uh, his brain and okay the reach his brain his knees he said alhamdulillah look at adam he speak arabic like me unbelievable look like arabic is the first language in the world I mean okay and he said in arabic alhamdulillah you know the muslim translate the same praise be to allah i don't know who is the donkey who translate this alhamdulillah does not praise be to allah it is mean thanks to allah stupid idiot and then he says and then allah said to him may you allah have mercy on you like what the heck who are you then I mean, this God, Allah, since the beginning, He have a uh, Shafranizia, what they call it, Shafranizia. He have a, like two personality. Oh, Adam. And when it reached his eyes, he opened them, and when it reached his body and his limp, he started uh, uh, them in order to like stare at them in order. If you understand the situation, you can watch Ahmad, the dead terrorist. It's a nice comedy. So he was looking at his feet, you know. He wanted to get up before it reached his feet, but he could not, which is very normal. I mean, come on, <laughs> logical. This, the whole story is logical. He said, oh Allah, make it happen before the night comes. I mean, this is a true story from Prophet Muhammad. So when this guy, he says to you that Islam is not a new religion, I mean, we have to agree. Who can deny that? What's wrong with people? I mean, is it obvious? Adam, when he was created, the first thing he said, Alhamdulillah. No, first, sorry. Uh, yeah, he said, Alhamdulillah, when he sneezed. And then he said to Allah, the second sentence, finish me before the sunset. Which means Allah is very slow. Okay, tell us more, Zakura. Founder of the religion of Islam, but he's the last and final messenger uh -huh. of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ta the first prophet is Adam, peace be upon him, and then the 25 messengers yeah and alexander the great and susu and mimi and dudu i mean uh, 124,000 messengers we asked the muslims can you count the names they will say to you we give you 25 names what about the rest <laughs> and as long all of them they are muslims how come islam is not preserved where is the books of those people let it go man just let it go for the sake of the beard of this guy I mentioned my name in the god's quran by the way where do you get your beard from look at this tongue look let me zoom in I mean, I mean, I stopped the video in the wrong place. What, what the heck is that? What are you doing, Zakir Naik? Zakir, not on the TV. That's not good. I mean, after finally we got you a beard, what are you doing with your tongue? Is that a hamburger or something? What is that? This is your tongue? Seriously? Now I know. I put some proof. I told you one thousand time. Don't speak to me. And now you, why your sound is coming like this? Like what the heck? Look at this. <laughs> oh boy. Okay, let it go. Now we know what is inside the mouth. Uh, Zuzu, I'm not going to zoom on you no more for the mercy of the audience. I don't want to scare them. What is that, man? What is that? What's happening there? Did you buy it from eBay? Uh, I bet you it's made in China. Yeah, but not everything made in China is bad. Anyway, come on, continue. And our beloved Prophet Muhammad said that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has sent 124,000 messengers if, on the if, 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 Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, is not the founder of Islam, but he's the last and final messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That's it, he's the last one. You know, Allah, he, have, he is out. That's it, the, the warehouse is out of them. Sorry, guys. We gave you 124,000 messengers, and this is Muhammad, the last one. Okay, and we, we close the, the message with the idiot. <laughs> hey, Prophet Muhammad, what is the best accomplishment you did? Okay, Prophet, we got it, we got it. Okay, uh, you are saying to me, uh, let me translate to you what Prophet Muhammad said. Uh, open Sahih al-Bukhari and read. It says, breastfeeding for adult. Sakal me. <laughs> continue, continue. Hmm. So regarding the question, okay. what was the religion of Prophet So all of this was a pre presentation. Ah, now we go to the question. Look at this. Man, unbelievable. This is, this is the real religion. Not like right away to the question. We have to give you some spice here and there. Like, you know, okay, okay. Now, so well, well, uh, we go back to the question. Regarding the question, 
what was the religion yeah. of Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him Please before he got prophet? Please don't tell and us. And you know Prophet Muhammad peace be upon him got prophethood at the age of 40. 40? I mean, the way you say 40, I remember once I was in the Philippines, there was a guy he in the bus. So he said, sir, uh, I have to pay you back. I gave him, I think, 100 pesos. He said, I will pay you back 44 pesos. I said, how much? He said, 44 pesos. I said, it, say, say it one more time and keep them. <laughs> People in the bus die laughing. And then the guy come back to me, says, do you want me to say it more? I said, no, 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 <laughs> that's it. <laughs> so 40 years, the prophet, he become a prophet at the age of 40 years. Why? Why the delay? Why? Peace be upon him, God prophethood at the age of 40. Uh -huh. So what was the religion before that? Uh -huh. Our beloved Prophet Muhammad he was born in Deen al-Fitr. Deen al-Fitr? He was born in the innate religion. Uh -huh. That is what the Prophet said, that every human being okay. that is born in a Muslim family or a non-Muslim family, hmm. he is born in Deen al-Fitr. That means he is on the straight path, he is born as a Muslim. Okay, really? Our beloved Prophet Muhammad before he got Prophet, he was a Muslim. Uh -huh. And all the messengers that came before Prophet Muhammad. Hey, but that's mean uh, the Hindus are born Muslims too, and they are Muslims. Sadhguru is a Muslim. We are asking you what was religion. We are not asking you what he was born. I'm not asking you what is in his diaper. So what the accomplishment here? If everybody is born as a Muslim, so still what is the religion of Muhammad? <laughs> Allah says in the Quran in Surah Imran chapter number 3 verse number 52 uh -huh. that Isa alayhi salam he was a Muslim. Uh -huh. Allah says in the How come then he was not child molester? I mean if he's a Muslim. How come he was not a thief like Muhammad if he was a Muslim? How come he don't have a limited number of wives and sex slaves if he was a Muslim? How come he don't approve lying if he was a Muslim? How come he did not approve taking the son wife if he was a Muslim? Obviously, you know, yeah, you are talking about Isa, Isa, uh, not Jesus. Okay, I got you. The Quran in Surah Imran, chapter 3, verse number 67, uh -huh. that Abraham, peace be upon him, he was not a Jew or a Christian, but he was. Look at the genius, Muhammad. Guys, Abraham was not a Jew or a Christian. Look, like, what? You stupid idiot. There was no Christian, there was no Jews at that time. So how he will be a Jew or how he will be a Christian? I mean, do you see the stupidity? If he is the grandfather of the Jews, so how this person He, how the Quran say he was not a Jew or not Christian? Look, all those verses in the Quran is about uh, uh, Abraham or Abraham. But by the way, there's a verse about uh, about Abraham. Uh, let us see which one we will show you, which we will, we will make you die laughing from the stupidity of this religion. You know, stupidity is beyond <clears throat> imagination sometimes. Look at this verse. Just to show you that this book is written or made by a not only a fabricator, a, a, the most stupid person ever. Read carefully. O people of scriptures, why will ye argue about Abraham when the Torah and the gospel were not revealed till after him? Have you no sense? <laughs> I 
Look what happened now. Based on this verse, the one who debate about Abraham, if he come after, he have no right to debate about him. Based on this, Islam is the last. I mean, do you see how dummy, the one who made this argument, they call him Allah. I call him stupid Muhammad. Why you are arguing, why you are debating, why you are, uh, uh, you know, questioning about Abraham, why you are debating us about Abraham? And you know that your book, the Torah, and your book, the Gospel, did not came in the time of Abraham, came after. But based on this, the Muslims, they are the last one who have the right to debate about Abraham. This is why this book is written by an idiot. I mean, Borat can come with something better. What the heck is this? Anyway, back to the question. Where is the, what was the question? What was the religion of, uh, of, uh, of Muhammad? Okay. I'm not going to go back to your tongue. Until now, I'm waiting for the answer, Abdul. He was a Muslim. Mm, yeah. No. So, our beloved Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, before he became a Prophet, also was a Muslim. Uh -huh. Yeah. So, what did okay, what he do? What he do? 40 years, he was a Muslim. What he was doing? He was a Muslim. Okay, what? What he was doing? How was that? Well, you, shouldn't you explain to us? He was a Muslim. What does that mean? People think that Islam came into existence after Prophet Muhammad. Yeah, Muhammad. no, we know he is not, not uh, come after. We know that Islam is exist because we have a sheikh, great sheikh. He is going to get you busted. His name is Sheikh Uthman. Sheikh Uthman. He is the one who is going to get all the Abdul busted. Sheikh Uthman, may Allah bless him and make his penis grow to the endless promise Allah he promised. May Allah give him all the versions from the alligator to elephants in the heaven. He got all the Muslim busted. But before we go, we have to do a commercial break because it is time for to to Patreon break. and show your support. What the heck is that? Commercial break. Hello, babies. If you would like the support Christian Prince, please go to Patreon and show your support. www.patreon.com slash Christian Prince. We thank you all for your kindly support and enjoy the video. So don't forget please to show you the board to www.batteryo. <laughs> we go back to <laughs> Sheikh Uthman, Sheikh Uthman, what are you doing, man? I mean, you, 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 you would, you would, uh, you, that's it, we, we have nothing to say. Zakir Naik saying Muhammad was born as a Muslim. And you say he was a pagan and he was not Abrahamic? Tell us more, Uthman, tell us. But, but then the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, Allah put around him those people that would console him, like his wife yeah. Khatija. Yeah. And then when Gabriel started coming more often, he told him, I'm Gabriel, I'm bringing... Guys, when, uh, when Gabriel came to Muhammad, he told him, I'm Gabriel. I'm Gabriel, hello, how are you doing? How are you doing? <laughs> hey, Uthman. Potato, I want you to show me the reference where Jibreel, when he came to Muhammad, he told him, I am Gabriel. I, I, I would love to see that from you. Remember, this is the first time he come to him, right? This is the, you don't introduce yourself after you come 10 times. So when Jibreel come to him, brother, he said to him, I am Jibreel. So did he just say that Allah, he put around him people to cancel him? To cancel who? Muhammad. Who are they, those who will cancel him? But then the Prophet Muhammad وسلم, Allah put around him those people that will console him, like his wife yeah. Khadija. Khadija is the private consultant. Okay, let us go to Khadija. A brother and sister. The Prophet, true, he consulted Khadija. He saw an angel in the corner of his room. 
He did not know if he was an angel or not, to be honest with you. So he asked his consultant, Khadija. Khadija, she is expert. And you will see her expertise very soon. So if you go here, and this is one of Islamic books, not mine, big book. This is a Sira al-Nabawiyya, Ibn Hisham, chapter volume number one, sorry, volume number one, page number 239. And this is the story where Khadija, when Muhammad, he saw someone in the corner, and this guy, he didn't talk. So he told her, I'm not sure if I am seeing a shaitan, Satan, or I'm seeing an angel. So Khadija, and we will translate to English for you, and you know the story, we tell it to you before. Khadija, she told him, Khabibi Muhammad. Okay, Khabibi, when you see him next time, tell me, okay, Khabibi? Okay, so uh, when you see him, okay, uh, she said, uh, read from here, in the authority of Khadija, may Allah bless her, that she said that the Messenger of Allah grant him peace. She, uh, 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 she said to him, cousin, uh, oh cousin, uh, can I tell you about this friend of yours who come to you? If he come to you, you know, tell me. So there's a friend, he accompany Muhammad, he come to the room, but he don't talk to him. So tell me about him, which means actually the translation here is saying, when you, when you come to you, let me know. Not, not tell me about him, let me know. So when he come to you, just inform me, and I will come, and I will do something. So when he come, uh, Muhammad, he told her. Then Khadija, she said, okay. He said, hey, this is uh, this is uh, the one, my friend, he come to me. This is not Jibreel. This is the one who come to me. Okay. And then Khadija, she said, okay, cousin, stand and sit in the top of my left thigh. And then he said, she asked him, do you see him? He said, yes. Then she said to him, okay, turn, stand up and sit in my right thigh. And then she said to him, do you see him? He said, yes, I see him. <laughs> and then Khadija, she asked him to sit in her lap in a sexual position. And then she said to him, do you see him? He said, uh, yes, I see him. Then Khadija, she started taking off her clothes, man. This is something, this is something getting hot now. And then she said, after uh, she took off her down, uh, she said, do you see him? He said, uh, yes, I see him. So now uh, uh, she took off more clothes. And then uh, she threw her veil and took off her clothes, getting naked. And then she said to him, Messenger, do you see him? He said, no. She said, the glory to Allah, my cousin, this is not, this is an, an angel, not the devil. So you liar, if he knew that this is Jibreel, how his wife, she is trying to confirm to him that this is an angel, not a devil. Here the translation says a king, because it's the same word, I mean, close word in Arabic for the word angel. So this is an angel, and this is not the devil. Then if we go in the Hadith, we will find the following. That Khadija, when Muhammad, he come to her. Uh, and let us go there. After he saw the so-called angel in the cave, you will see nowhere the angel, he says to Muhammad, I am Jibreel. He never said anything. The guy, he just stood in the front of him and he starts squeezing him. This is the story. Jibreel did not say anything. He said, he came to him. He said to him, Iqra, read. Read carefully. So when he was in the in the cave of Hira, the angel came to him and asked him to read. Did not say, I am this guy, I am that guy. No. Now how we can prove that? Continue the story. You will see that when Muhammad, uh, he went to his wife, he told his wife what happened to him, and he was snoring, he was going crazy, he was shaking, he had pain in his neck, he had pain in his body. Uh, obviously, Muhammad is suffering from epilepsy. And then, uh, 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 when he went to his wife, his wife, she said to him, let us go to Waraka. Waraka supposedly is a priest, but he is uh, a Nasara priest, not a Christian priest. Uh, so here you will see, when Muhammad he came to Khadija, 
his neck muscles twitching with terror till he entered upon Khadija and said, cover me, cover me. So he have a, he, he have a fever, he have a cold, he didn't know what's happening. And then she covered him until his fear is over. And here you notice why Muhammad is terrified from seeing an angel. I mean, Mary, she's a woman, according to the Quran, she was not terrified and she have a twitch in her neck. She said, just seek refuge by God, who are you? That's it. So look like Muhammad is not man enough so a woman like Mary, she did not fear the angel, but Muhammad was terrified from the angel. Then he said, oh Khadija, what's wrong with me? Oh, Muhammad here admit that there's something wrong with him. But for sure, it's not about his tongue like Zakir Naik, it's more, more serious. Then he told her everything that happened to him. He said, I fear that something may happen to me. So here you see that Muhammad, he noticed that he's getting crazy, he's being stupid. Khadija, she said, never. But have a glad tiding, for by Allah, Allah will never disgrace you and keep uh, uh, the uh, reactions with with uh, 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 with do what kith with your kith, okay, and what is that and your kin, speak the truth, uh, blah 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 blah, and then Khadija she said, Khadija accompanied him to her cousin Waraka bin Nufal, Ibn Asad, Ibn Uzza. This is, they are pagan people, this is why the names, you see those names, Uzza is one of the goddess. Uh, Waraka was a son of her paternal uncle, i.e. her father, brother, who during the pre-Islamic period become a Christian. The fact he did not become a Christian, he became a Sara. This is a, 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 a Christian cult. And he used to write in Arabic the writing of the gospel, and that is the Quran which as much as Allah wished him to write. So as you see, he is there because Allah decides for him to be there. And he was an old man and he lost his eyesight. And here we ask ourselves how he can write the book if he lost his eyesight. That's really stupid. Khadija, she said to him, oh my cousin, listen to the story of my of your nephew. Waraka asked, okay, my nephew, tell me what, what happened? What have you seen? The, the prophet, he told him, he described to him what he saw. And then you will see that this guy, Waraka bin Nufal, is the first one supposedly to tell Muhammad the name of the angel. He said, this is the Namus, i.e. Jibreel, the angel who kept the secrets, whom Allah, he had sent to Moses. Allah sent Jibreel to Moses, Muslims? That's a good thing, okay. So here you see how they lie and how Sheikh Uthman is a potato. Lying that Jibreel, when he come to him, he told him, I am Jibreel, where? Show us in the story. As you see, Muhammad, he have no idea who is this person. And all of us, we knew the story, which is written in front of you, that Jibreel just told him, read. Read. He did not say, I am Jibreel. He did not say, even Assalamu Alaikum, which is really weird. You see, in the Bible, when the, when, the, when the angel came to Mary, he said to her, Shalom to you, Mary. Assalamu Alaikum. And by the way, this is a Christian greeting, the Muslim they stole from us. This is not Islamic, this is us. Shalom to you, Mary. Blessed you between the women. Muhammad, whoever appeared to him, he never said to him, Shalom, for he is the devil. If you ask any Muslim, and I challenge any Muslim who they are presenting with us today, and by the way, my Skype is open. If there's any Muslim would like to text, he like to go and share with us. Why, why the angel did not say to Muhammad, Shalom, what is the problem? Don't he deserve it? Why a messenger of God, he don't start with the greeting of God according to you Muslims? Because simply he is not from God, he is Satan. And if you read the story in every single hadith, you will see the same story. He did not say to him, I am Jibreel. He did not say to him, uh, Assalamu Alaikum. He did not say any of those things. And here we go, the story in front of you. This is Sahih Muslim. You see it? This is Sahih al-Bukhari. 
Where, where the angel said to him, Assalamu alaikum, where he said, I am Jibreel? Nowhere. So Uthman is just a kid. He say whatever he want. He is just sitting in the, in the street. He's a street boy. He is a street boy. Where you got the lie, you are saying that Jibreel told him, I am Jibreel. When he come to him first time. You are a liar. Those are every single hadith reporting the story. Now we go back to Sheikh Uthman because he will give us a priceless teaching about the lies the Muslim they keep reporting to us that Muhammad was Abrahamic. You will notice now today that uh, uh, you know Muslims sometimes by mistake, uh, uh, let us say, uh, they forget themselves to lie and they say something honest. And I believe this is what happened now. He, by mistake, he was honest. I'm not saying he, he made a mistake. I'm saying usually it's a mistake to be honest if you are a Muslim speaking to a Christian. Muslims are allowed to practice taqiyya, to lie about Islam, because the purpose is to deceive you and to make you convert. And for them, they believe, even if they are lying to you, they will receive a blessing from Allah because supposedly your, their intention is good. So this is a good lie. So look what he say now. Yeah. And then when Gabriel started coming more often, he told him, I'm Gabriel, I'm bringing the message uh -huh. to you. And then he'll bring news to him of the past, about like what happened with Joseph and Moses, things that he wouldn't have known. Because, yeah. you know, he couldn't read. Look, hold on. He said that Jibreel, when he came to him, he told him, I'm Jibreel. And then he, he, he just said, and then when Jibreel, he started coming to him often, he said to him, I'm Jibreel. Look, you see the stupidity? Go back a little bit. Those people that will console him, like his wife yeah. Khatija. Yeah. And then when Gabriel started coming more often, he told him, I'm Gabriel, I'm bringing them. Look, what the heck? Jibreel started coming more often? So did he not tell him in the beginning? <laughs> He admitted. <laughs> message to you, and then you bring news to him of the past about like what happened with Joseph and Moses, things that he wouldn't have known because yeah. you know he couldn't read or write, right? Oh. Yeah. And mm. This is another lie. The Muslim they say Muhammad he could not read and write, but we ask them where do you get this from? Just to show you that this religion is not only the prophet is stupid, is the one who inter give interpretation for their book is stupid. If you go in the Quran, you will not find a single verse says that Muhammad do not know how to read, how to write. The word Ummi have nothing to do with reading or writing. Those are stupid people who do not know their book. Let me prove it to you. Chapter 2, verse number 78. It says, And among them are illiterate. This is the word Ummi. Illiterate. Folk who know. The, uh, and, and, uh, so there's among them, there's people who do not know the book. So who is the illiterate in Islam? In the Quran is the one who do not know the scriptures, you idiot. Not the one who do not know how to write, how to read. Even their book, they cannot explain their stupid book because they are deceived by interpretation and they cannot see the truth in the front of their eyes. You know, uh, 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 and now we understand why the Quran says, if you, Muhammad, even Muhammad himself, he have to consult someone like a Christian prince. If you have a doubt about what we sent to you, go and ask the Christians and the Jews. Do you see it? Even Muhammad himself, Allah said to him, if you have a doubt in your heart, go and ask the Christian and the Jews. And here you ask yourself, why Muhammad he have a doubt in his heart? The Muslim, they will say, no, no, it says, if, 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 like, what? okay, are you saying to me that your God, Allah is a stupid? He said, if, but the guy is not. <laughs> Secondly, if it is, if, is it Allah who knows if he have or not? What if mean? I can say, if you have doubt, I will explain to you, because I'm not sure if you are, if you have or not, because I'm a human. But this is God. Do God in you that Muhammad have the if or not if? Do you see the stupidity? This is why we say every single verse in this book is written by an idiot, 
all what you need to do is to read carefully the problem is most of us we don't read carefully we just read words you know we don't observe the words we just read letters you know like oh, read 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 no but nobody is trying to really think carefully so even Muhammad been ordered by Allah to go and ask those who they've been giving the gospel and here you ask yourself if we are people who corrupt if we are people who have no book anymore so how the stupid Allah asking a Muhammad to go and ask the Christians do you notice what happened here if we don't follow God no more if we are cursed or lost so how the stupid God he said to his prophet go and ask the lost one do you see the stupidity? <laughs> uh, hold on. Uh, we can we can ask somebody. He can <coughs> explain it better. Christian Prince, I'm going to get you a thing. First of all, it said in the verse, "If you have a dot," which means if he will do. So there's no guarantee that Allah is saying that you're a dog. Okay, Zakanaik, like, do Allah, he knew that he have a dog or not? For the world, Allah was if him, and Allah he if all the time. Look, what is that? What do you mean Allah he if all the time? Is that, let's, let's go Brandon? Christian Prince, I'm not talking about Dubai now. I'm asking you, if Allah he said if, it means he if. He is not really guaranteeing, he is if him. Like, I, I'm doing, we got it, he is if him. Why is he so using if, if he is sure? Is Allah sure that Muhammad is? Have a dot or he don't have a dot. Why he is using the F? Christian Prince. Because the word F is very unique. Eh? Okay. Other example. You go in America in every single movie they say F you. Like what the heck? Zach and Nag, this is a different word. But Abdul, hold on. This is a different word. This is not the same word. F in Arabic is not the same F in English. Christian Prince. And then give you an example. It's a very popular word. You that are in the word and Allah you it. Like Abdul, listen can we carefully. This is bad, man. Don't go there. What's wrong with you? Allah he said to Muhammad, if you have a dog, go and ask Christian Prince. So if a Christian Prince is a bad person and he don't have a book no more, how in the world Allah he asked him to go and ask Christian Prince? Christian Prince. First of all, Allah never mentioned your name in the Quran. I got you about it. This is lie number 180. People, this is line number 180. Christian Prince, he mentioned that his name was in the Quran. And if we go in the Quran, we don't tell you the name. Because I can like, hold on. I did not say my name. He said the Christians. What is my name? Christian Prince. Okay. I, what's in my name? Christian Prince. Okay, so the Christians. So Allah, he said to Muhammad, go and ask the Christian. That is a Christian Prince. So ask him if he have adopt. So Muhammad, he have adopt. And if he have adopt, he have to come and ask me, correct? Christian Prince. I told you, this is the word if. He didn't ask him, him to go and ask you. He said if. Zakir. So is he going to come and ask me or not? Zakir. Zakir. Okay, well, Brandon is here. Huh. So when we say this is a stupid religion, we mean it. If the Christians and the Jews, and this is a clear proof that the Christians and the Jews, they have a true belief. Because you sh it's a shame, it's a stupid, it's a mental to say to somebody, suppose he is a prophet, go and ask him whether he is lost. Are we taking reference? Chapter 10, verse number 94. And by the way, Muslims, chapter 10 is called the chapter of Yunus. What Yunus mean? Eh? What is that, man? Yunus. Who is Yunus? Who is this guy? Yunus. Nice to meet you, Yunus. Uh, who are you? I mean, you must and you get me names from the middle of nowhere. Like Yunus. Uh, okay, let it go. We go back to the other comedian. Hmm. 
Tell us more. So now Jibril, he told Muhammad, I'm Jibril. And the, when Muhammad was consulting his wife, Khadija. <laughs> I like that. I, the funny, he was consulting his wife, Khadija, and, and Muhammad, he says, most of women, they will go to hell. And the witnessing of a woman is a half witness of a man. And witness, or women have half brain. I mean, have you ever heard of a stupid religion? Believe that the women consulting to a man and the same religion saying that women, she have half a brain? Continue. And then like amazing miraculous things like linguistic miracles that the miraculous things he did miraculous things so if he did miraculous things how come the Quran says he have no miracle like what the heck guys he have miraculous things okay like what where is that a Quran and nothing Nothing stop us from sending ayat, proves, evidence, signs, miracles. But the people of all will deny them. Look what they excuse. They will deny them anyway if I send you or not, Muhammad. So sorry, Muhammad, I will not send you any delivery. <laughs> but the guy he said, Muhammad, he have tons of miracles. If you go to the chapter of 13, Arad, by the way, according to Muslims, 13, 13, chapter 13, verse 13, if you read the interpretation, the thunder is an angel in charge of the cloud, which is true. You know, I used to be, I used to be working as a thunder for three years. Yeah. And then I, you know, I decided to work as a cloud for three years. And then I said to myself, I'm bored with this, so I will be a prophet. <laughs> so I called myself Arabian prophet for three years. <laughs> Unbelievable. And by the way, there's some people say, we don't like your love. So why are you listen to me? Idiot. What are you doing there? Are you dummy? So you don't like listening to me, and then you come here to me. Are you mental? What the heck with those people? So look, look, at, look, look at this. The Quran keeps saying, the people keep saying to him, we wish that he, his God, his Lord, can give him one, one sign. And chapter 13 is the last, almost one of the last chapters in the Quran. If you go to the books, like here it says chapter 13, but in case you do not know, Muslim, they have something called revelation according to orders. So chapter 13 is almost at the end of the Quran, which means the end of the life of Muhammad and still people asking him, why? Why, Habibi, why? Habibi Muhammad, why? Why not a sign sent down to him from his God? Why? So when the Muslim they say Muhammad he have miracle brother, those are fabrication obviously, because the Quran says at the end of the life of Muhammad still he don't have any signs, right? Uh, oh hold on hold on. We have a smart Muslim he's saying the following. I wanna I wanna show you how uh, how genius Muslims are. Okay. Commercial break. But this time is a Muslim comment because I believe that uh, uh, Muslim comment is the best commercial break. If you eat pig, you behave like a pig. Ah, so you're a prophet used to eat lizard, so he must be a lizard. You're a prophet used to eat wild donkey, so he must be a donkey. You're a prophet, he ordered you to drink camel urine. You must be a camel. Your logic work. Literally. I understand me, your situation. You are what you eat, my friend. You eat a pig, you are a pig. Okay, hold on. But the Quran allow you to eat pig. If we go in the Quran, we will find the following. First, all the Christian food is lawful for you. <laughs> Secondly, who said you cannot eat pigs? <laughs> Here we go. This is the verse, you idiot. I mean, those people, they don't know their religion. This is why they don't dare to call me. All right. Chapter 5, verse number 30. It says, if you are hungry, you can eat pigs. Read it. Like, what the heck? Do you see it? It's forbidden for you to eat those following food, but if you are hungry, brother, you can eat it. Mm -hmm. Well, we are always we eat because we are hungry. 
Chip Intrusion. Anyway, we continue with Sheikh Uthman because Uthman is going to Sheikh Islam. Uthman, tell us more. Uh, by the way, Uthman is you are getting wrong, man. What are you eating? Ah, the donation money. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah, Arab poets couldn't respond to. Yeah. So that's cool. Man. That's so cool. Did he, know, he didn't know it was Gabriel. The angel didn't tell him it was Gabriel. He was did. Gabriel. He did. He did. Sure. Any later? No, no. Even at that so, time, okay. right? Even at that time, right? Even at that time, show him. Why you don't show him? Even at that time, told him. Even at that time, brother. Look where. Even at that time, he told him. Like Abdul, are you sure? Show us reference. Show us reference. What the heck with this religion? We showed you all Bukhari, Sahih Muslim. He never said to him, his wife, she took him to her cousin, which is supposed to her uncle, which is the real father of Muhammad. Waraq ibn Nawfal, I believe he is the real father of Muhammad. This is why the sister of Waraqa, she offered the father of Muhammad 100 camel to if her, which proved that Muhammad's father was a gigolo. Gigolo? Gigolo. And when he said to her, I will finish with that woman and come to you, which means the mother of Muhammad, when he come to, uh, to, to the sister of Waraqa ibn Nawfal, she said, I have no need for you. Which means Waraqa, he sent her, so she will, he will not sleep with that woman, supposedly the mother of Muhammad. So obviously, Waraka, who was always exist in the life of Muhammad, when he was a kid, he was missing, you find him in Waraka. So you will see that always Waraka is exist, and when, when Waraka, he died, Muhammad, he tried to commit suicide. This is how we close the relationship between them, because he is really his real father. According to Muslim books, Muhammad, he was born four years after the one they claimed that he is his father. This is why if you go right now and we search uh, of Muslims uh, website about how, how how long a woman she can be uh, uh, having a child. Is it like two months to nine months, seven months? You will see it goes up to unlimited and starting from two years and four years. Why? Because their prophet was born four years after his father's death, which is normal. It's happening in the Middle East. Continue more. But but I mean again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Uh -oh. But I mean again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Uh -oh. But I mean again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. He do not know who Ab who is Gabriel is because he did not come from an Abrahamic faith. Muslims, did you hear it? Muhammad do not know who is Gabriel. He never heard of him. Why? Because he did not come from Abrahamic faith. So Muhammad at the age of 40, he never heard of, of, of Gabriel. Muhammad at the age of 40, he never know what the Abrahamic faith is. So all the Muslims, when they say to us, Muhammad was Abrahamic, they are making a big, 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 huge fat lie. This is a music in my ears, Sheikh um, uh, Uthman. Now I will call you Sheikh, finally. I used to call you a kid. Just because you said that, you are my favorite Sheikh from now on, I'm going to subscribe to you, brother. What you said? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca were pagan. Have you seen the name of our... The people of Mecca were pagan. He was one of them. Did you notice? He did not come from Abrahamic faith. He did not know who is Jibreel. Why he did not know Jibreel? Because he did not come from Abrahamic faith. The people of Mecca, they were pagan. And Muhammad is one of them. Priceless. Abrahamic faith. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. This is what Christian Prince always will say. And then the Muslim, they say Christian Prince is lying. Lie number 72, 73, 74, 79, 79, 72. Here we go. The stupidity is exposed. The lies is destroyed. You see the liars, they cannot keep the lie together. I mean, come on, agree on one lie so you can fool us. The Quran says, 
confirming what Uthman he said. May Allah bless your uh, private part, Uthman, and make it so in this as he promised you, the Prophet promised you. I believe now the private part of Uthman is going to reach China. Even maybe far. And you know what? Allah will give you like a good deal. Like no customs. So like he can pass borders and you know. Yeah. True. Let us see the Quran. <clears throat> Chapter 42, verse number 52. The Quran say clearly that Muhammad have zero knowledge of any scriptures. Bingo. Thank you, Uthman. You are right. Read carefully. And thus we have inspired thee in thee, Muhammad, a spirit of our command, though knowest not what scriptures was. This is what Sheikh Uthman was saying. Finally, Sheikh Uthman is a Sheikh. He was a belly dancer for the last few months. Finally, he man up and he said the truth that Muhammad, he did not know anything about the scriptures and he was not Abrahamic. Confirming what the Quran says, he know nothing about the scriptures. Know what is the faith. So Muhammad, not only he was not Abrahamic, he was a very perverted pagan person who do not know scriptures, neither any faith have to do with God. Who said that? The Quran. Who confirmed that? Prophet Sheikh Uthman, may Allah bless his private part. May Allah support your private part, Brother Uthman. Because all the religion of Islam is based on that location. That's why I'm insisting to use it. I mean, what Islam is about. You pray to Allah, Allah will make your penis endless. You pray to Allah, Allah will give you the power of uh, uh, 100 men in boom boom. You pray to Allah, Allah will give you endless women, a uh, uh, number, and each one of them, her, uh, his, her ass is one mile. You pray to Allah, Allah will give you women with be boobs. So all of it is about penis. It's a penis religion. Penis religion, penis God. What does God is a specialty? You see, when you go to a, a party, let's say you have a you have a birthday party. Like you know, I remember last time. Uh, you know, I, I asked my mom why you don't celebrate my birthday. What is my birthday? Because I wanted to celebrate it. She said, I said, give me the date. She said it was a bad day. I, I look in the calendar. I could not find that date. You know, I said mom, what is my birthday? She says it was a bad day. It's all what you told me. So I don't know really. I want to celebrate that day. Muslims, don't you agree it was a bad day for Islam? It is a bad day for Islam. So look what happened now. Sheikh Uthman, who follow a god of the penises, he is telling us that Muhammad was worshipping penises before Islam. Okay, what after Islam? Still he is worshipping penises. The black stone was nothing but a vagina. This is why Abu Bakr, he said, and Muhammad said, that go and suck the clitoris of Allah. The clitoris of a lat. Where is the lat clitoris located? It's a black stone. This is why if you go and search for the black stone image, let us search for it. I hate it when I type in Arabic, but I, I'm thinking I'm, I'm typing in Arabic, but I'm typing in English. And vice versa. <clears throat> okay. Stop complaining. Do something about it. All right. Did you ask yourself, even for once, why it looked like this? What is that? What is that? What is this? What the heck? And where is the clitoris? And by the way, there's no black stone. You see what is inside? This is wax. The funny is, the Muslim, they say Allah, he sent a black stone from heaven. 
and this black stone is going to witness for Muslims with her tongue because the Muslim they suck at it. You know, they lick it. Yeah, lick it more. But there's no black stone left. You see those rod, those uh, black dots? Those are little rocks. And the rest is rocks. And this is why you see that they put a soldier next to the black stone so nobody can use a knife or something to unblock those little rocks from inside so even the, the the stone which allah he promised that she will witness for the muslims in the judgment day and muhammad he said it is the right hand of allah even that rock is not exist no more and this is additional proof that islam is a fraud because if this stone is going to witness for them in the day of judgment then allah should preserve the stone and nobody can make it little pieces and not al qurmati who destroyed the kaaba took the black stone make it a poop stone for 21 years and now we have nothing left. Little tiny rocks, and the rest is a wax. And you look at the shape, it's a holy vagina. So Uthman, he confirmed what we always confirm, that Muhammad was a pagan, and he was not Abrahamic. He did, sure. No, no, even at that time, right? But but I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. But I So, Muslims, I have my Skype open. Nobody call me, nobody text me. Obviously, you agree with him. Oh, we have one person. Hold on. Let us see this guy. Man, one of them, the internet is horrible. Okay, the second guy, he cannot text him, he cannot talk to him. If there's any Muslim would like to make a comment about what Sheikh Uthman he said, exposing the lies of Islam that Muhammad was Abrahamic. If there is any Muslim, right? Any Muslim. Any Muslim. Maybe, maybe. Who want to help Muhammad from the trouble? Sheikh Uthman, he announced that Muhammad was not Abrahamic. We have it recorded, documented. So all those who say Muhammad was Islamic, Abrahamic, sorry, they are not telling the truth. Yeah. For sure, the only one who can get uh, uh, Uthman busted is Ultimate Fort. <laughs> Islam Canada and your name in, and, your, and your internet is not working. So obviously you are in Canada, you are a fraud. I mean, he, he named himself Islam Canada and yet his internet is not working. What kind of Canada is that? Say Islam Somalia. Okay, come on. Let's try to give him a chance again. Oh boy. Yeah, take care. Next, let us see if we can find it. Who is a Muslim would like to call me? I can I will take one call only, not many. Who is a Muslim would like to call me 
and tell me what you think about what Osman he said about your prophet saying the truth that your prophet never was Abrahamic never believed in the true God of Abraham and the idea of Abrahamic is a fraud when it's come to Muhammad Muhammad, according to Uthman, he spent 40 years of his life, he's a pagan. He is the one who said, remember, the Arab were pagan. Muhammad do not know what Gabriel is. Muhammad do not know what faith is. And this is confirmed in the Quran as we showed you. No, no, even at that time, right? But, but I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. And then we find that all Muslims, they keep saying Muhammad is from Abrahamic faith. And even he is from the lineage of Abraham. It turned to be, this is a fraud. Not a single person, he believe in that. Both descendants of Sam. Qahtan and Ibrahim are not brothers or contemporaries. We hmm. don't know when Qahtan lived. But yeah. Qahtan's ancestor, Ibrahim's ancestor are both Sam. And therefore, both Ibrahim and Qahtan are Samites. <laughs> However, of course, the lineage of Ibrahim we consider more pure. <laughs> the desperate, trying to find the lineage for their prophet. What time you are available? I am available now. I'm trying to call you. It's not working. Hmm. Muslim internet is not working. Uh, give me a break. Go get an internet so I can call you. I will give a chance to this one more one more time. Okay, take care. I'm not going to waste my time. Sorry, I will block you. I called you more than 10 times already. All right. Any Muslim? Mayday, Mayday. Sheikh Uthman caused a big scandal to Islam. He exposed Islam. Your prophet never was Abrahamic. Your prophet, he did not know the faith of Abraham as the Quran confirmed. So you cannot say Uthman is lying. Because as you see, this is what the Quran confirm. This is what the Quran confirm. I will give this guy one t one more time call. If not, hello, 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 Christian Prince. Yes, my friend. Did you hear the video we are playing? Uh, not entirely, actually, I was busy with my mother. So, well, can, you can are, hear me. Right? We are playing a video of Sheikh Uthman saying Muhammad was not Abrahamic. See, uh, that part, uh, very slightly, I saw. Yeah. Uh, not the whole part. Uh, first of all, English is not my mother language, and uh, I hope you can understand what I'm trying to say. No problem. Go ahead. See, I found your video, I saw your video, which you are uh, just doing live right now. And I found that uh, you're doing pick and choose and you're filling the blanks in a wrong way intentionally. I'm, I'm, and I'm doing what? I'm doing what? See, see you're uh, explaining a verse of Quran, Quran, right? Right. Let's say. And uh, uh, you're giving, you're filling the, you know, missing, like filling the words between the words incorrectly purposely intentionally How is that? Like, okay i want you to read with me i will give you i will give you a verse and i want you to read it for me you, you See, and, uh, okay just now you were explaining the words uh, in which uh, uh if you were discussing the matter if okay or prof let, let us go to that you have okay, a doubt if, okay if you have a doubt all about right. that right okay, explain it okay to first of all let me ask you one thing let me ask you one thing mm, all right is this verse here yeah, in this verse it, is Allah Pak only referring to uh, Prophet Muhammad? Yes. Or is it for entire mankind? No, for Muhammad only. Why? Because Quran is for everyone. It's for me. That verse is also for me. No. If I have a doubt, if no. you have a no. doubt, no. or if anyone no. has no. have a no. doubt. No, my friend, 
Yeah, this is how yeah, don't don't, don't give me a speech. Take each okay. and every okay. single listen, no, listen. No, listen. No, you listen. Let me explain. Don't let me explain my point. No, my point explain. of view. Then you can don't you can explain. comment on it. Whether I'm right or wrong, you can do it. I don't want to waste time. You will have a chance to explain your 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 point. But you have to listen to me first, na? Without listening to me, how can you comment on my comment? I want you to cut me. That is all. That is that is your problem. You are not listening to anyone. I am listening. You are always cutting everyone. You are wasting your time. Where's my my time? You always cut everyone. I'm asking you. Have to let me explain my point, uh, then no, you can this, explain your I point. I don't care no for problem. your point. I don't. I will care listen you. to you. I will. I don't time. care for your point. I'm asking you. If you, you have, don't you care, then why should I care about you? No. You are not. Take, I want you to give me allowing me to explain a, my point. Do you have a proof that this is not only about Muhammad? Sorry, what do you mean? Sorry, what do you mean? So you see, listen to me, so I can talk. And you hey, you are misbehaving now. You are misbehaving now. Do you have a proof? This, uh, this is you your Christian proof? love. Listen. This is this is a love you learned from listen. Jesus. Do you have a proof that you talk about love? love you Christians yes, talk about love, and this is how you love. See, this I, is the main core I of your belief: the love everyone, the love your neighbor. This is your love. I'm asking you: Do you have a proof that this verse is only about Muhammad, not about Muhammad? Yes, each and every single. A verse of Quran is for me, entire mankind, proof, not for only the, a specific give person. Me the proof that this is not for whosoever the verse this fits well, it should only. be applied me, for that person. If anyone has, it like means see, see, you you, miss, you misbehaving. You are a you are a Christian. You're supposed to love everyone, right? Why are you misbehaving? Okay, do you accept to go? Am, am I misbehaving you with you? To go I'm just trying to explain my Benito, point. Do you accept? And you're misbehaving with me. I am. I, you are the one as a, as a kid. I'm asking you. Have I said any any, any wrong word, word or any wrong phrase friend, about you? you that you are a this stupid, guy or that stupid, guy? No. You stupid. You read the screen. It says you, you are a misbehaving stupid, person. Stupid. Listen, you are a person says, who misbehaves. It says, so if you you don't want to have a nice conversation, you don't want to have a nice discussion with anyone because you know that you cannot answer anyone. Any uh, Muslim who here, has a knowledge. I'm, I'm not saying I'm, I'm I'm someone who has a knowledge, but I, I'm hundred percent sure you cannot Abdul, answer Abdul, any. Abdul, okay, you uh, about Usman, okay, Sheikh Usman. Okay, you you're doing cut and choose. Can no, you you're stopping his video for every you on every second, the, and you're trying to you, you uh, explaining his uh, his words you, in a wrong way. You why you doing? Why are you cutting the videos? Because Why are you stopping at each I, and every single second and uh, telling? See this. This is uh, this Abdul, is the this Abdul, is why he's telling Abdul, around. This Abdul, is Abdul. what he's do, uh, saying around. Verse? Can you read the verse in the front of your screen? Which verse? Tell me the number. The verse you are talking about. I tell me the number. Now I don't remember so by heart. You are calling me. You do not know what verse you are talking about. Oh my God! Don't so you mean God. I'm I'm God? I okay. should know each and every single verse of Quran, no, or in fact ev about you everything? If I'm asking you, you to tell me, na, why you, stupid, you why you, you not telling me? You Are you afraid of something? You stupid! You you call me. To I have not memorized the Quran, entire Quran by heart. So I'm asking you, is it? What's the problem in that? You stupid! You, you know you're doing you know any any tiny tiny things. You're complaining about tiny tiny things. You're doing the the the. Are you you're right filling now? the you right between now? the two you, words in the wrong way. In the delivery room, can you read the verse in the front of you? Tell me the verse number. It's in the front of your screen. No, no, I have not opened. In front of my screen in YouTube. Yes, in the front of your screen. Yeah, in YouTube. Okay. Okay, read it. Wait, wait. I'm, I'm, my YouTube is closed. Okay, open YouTube. Why don't you tell me the number? I'm not going to tell you. It's a secret. Because I want to open in my own language, no? That is why. Ah, your language, ah, your language. No, no, we are speaking English here. Read it there, in front of you. Well, my English is, you know, very bad. Hmm. YouTube is taking time. Ah, okay. It's browsing, browsing, browsing. Hmm. Not running. Hmm. It's okay. Say, Tell me the worst number. It just oh come on man just read it i can't see now nah. yeah it 94 which which surah is it read the verse so if you these uh ignore the bra i will ignore the brackets okay if you uh, are in doubt okay get lost stupid son of Buddha. brother sister ignore the bracket so the muslim they say it is muhammad but it's not muhammad ignore the bracket so I was a liar a second ago, but it's you. It's your translation, you stupid son of Muta. You stupid, you donkey. Anyone who speaks Arabic will notice. It says, فَإِن كُنْتَ 
Kunta is for individual, not for everybody. Kunta, you, you in Arabic is not the same as in English. In English, you can say you for everybody, a group or one person. In Arabic, when you say Kunta, it is one person. Kuntum is a group. And you can rule, go and read the interpretation. So when you say, eh, this is not about Muhammad, this is about everybody. So why are you Muslim with Muhammad there? Let us say for the sake of argument, Christian Prince is not telling the truth. Why are you Muslim with Muhammad? Ignore the between bracket. I will ignore you too. <laughs> I just put you between the bracket and I send you to Allah. <laughs> And I'm sure you cannot answer any of the questions of uh, Sheikh Othman. Oh, give me his Skype, I will call him right now, let us see. And about me stopping the video, because we need to laugh, I have to make a comment, that's why I'm playing the video. And not only that, the coward, he don't allow us actually to play his videos. I wish the coward, he go and he make a copyright claim, but now he cannot, because we play a very little tiny part of his video. Go and see, anyone he plays video, he could be in copyright. Get the breath, get the breath, you are nothing on Okay, which, uh, about what? The, the, the verse, uh, if, uh, if you have a doubt, okay, well, well, read it. Uh, give me the number. Like, you, you stupid idiot, you call me, you do not know what verse we're talking about. The guy, he called me to talk about it. And he do not know the verse even. And yet he's asking me that I'm lying. He doesn't know the verse. And we can go and we can read the interpretation and in all of them they will say it is about Muhammad. <laughs> so when I say you stupid, give me a proof. I'm not here to listen to your opinion. Who cares about your opinion? You are just a potato. You are a person who does not know how your prophet name is spelled correctly. This is the truth. Who cares about your opinion? Here it's not about my opinion, your opinion. This is religion. This is your God. And this is Islam. This is not my opinion and your opinion. And if the Muslim they say, Oh Muhammad, then you need to go and ask your religion why you are saying it's all Muhammad if it is not about Muhammad. And just to show you how stupid you are, it says reveal to you, did, did Allah reveal to you as a Muslim or reveal to Muhammad? We can go read Ibn Kathir, we can go read Al-Qurtubi, we can read the Jalalain, everybody will laugh at you. But what hurt your feeling is, is how stupid the verse is and thank you for bringing us back so we can laugh more because if God is God he shall know if Muhammad he have a doubt or not if the Muslim they will say he have none then Allah is a stupid when he made this verse and regardless if he have a doubt or not asking him to go and ask the people of the scriptures the Christians and the Jews at that time prove that the Christians and the Jews they have a book of God at that time because if we are a bunch of losers and we don't have a book anymore and our book is corrupt and then you advise the guy to go and ask us, that means you are a stupid mental. It's like, you know, okay, there's a person, he's in the street, he live here, he's lost, he take, you know, he sell drugs. And then I say to my good son, if you have a doubt about the teaching about God, go and ask the drug dealer. Do you see the stupid version? And here you see Muhammad at this moment, at this point. Muhammad is kissing the bum of the every Christian and Jew, trying to make himself attached to them. Otherwise, why is God advising him to go and ask the Christians and the Jews? Let us take another Abdul. Things are getting exciting.
الدول يا بوي اوكي ابدول از نوت انسين So do you see the stupidity of religion? This religion is not religion. This is a, just a collection of stupidity. So Muhammad is not Abrahamic. He has nothing to do with Abraham. He is born between the pagan Arab. And remember, the pagan Arab worship Allah. I mean, what more proof we want than the pagan Arab, they are people who worship Allah. Do you see the pagan? He said, did he say that those are pagan? Did he say that those people are pagan? If we ask this guy, who is their God, those pagan, he will say Allah. <laughs> and then when Gabriel started coming more often, he told him, I'm Gabriel, I'm bringing the message to you. Yeah, yeah, right. Then he'll bring news to him of the past, about like what happened with Joseph and Moses, things that he wouldn't have known. Because, yeah. you know, he couldn't read or write, right? Yeah. yeah, and then like amazing, miraculous things like linguistic miracle. Yeah, linguistic miracle. And we see the proof of them. If you have a doubt, go and ask the Christian and the Jews. Oh, you know what? There's there is more powerful verses we have to admit. You know, we have there is there's a there's a very powerful verses in the Quran. Let us see here as an example. Hmm. <laughs> Which one I will I will read for you? <laughs> <laughs> okay, let us let us take this one just for fun. Linguistic, brother. Linguistic. He's speaking to somebody who doesn't speak English, Arabic. L linguistic. Okay, okay. Let, let us see the linguistic, brother. Brothers and sisters, Allah he decided to go to his office, and he said the following: There is no restrictions on blind, nor restrictions on the lame nor any restriction on the sick, nor of yourself, if you eat in your houses. <laughs> and the translation, he says the word restriction, it says haraj, which means it's not an embarrassment if you eat in your houses. So at that time, they eat where? In the restaurant? In McDonald's? <laughs> and if the blind, he cannot eat. I mean, look, this God, guys, after, after a thousand of years, he decided to come with something clear if you are blind you can eat at home if you cannot walk you can eat at home if you are sick you can eat at home however all of you you can eat at home so what the point of this verse just say to them all of you can eat at home and how in the world you are saying to us we can eat at home i mean is it a human being, even in the cave time, they used to eat at home? Where they eat? In the tree? The linguistic? And look, not only you can eat in your home, brother, or in the house of your father. Oof, that's deep. Or the house of your mothers. That's nice. Thank you. I was worried. I was worried. Can I eat in the house of my mother? Thank you, Allah. You made it clear for me. Or the house of your brothers. Man, the buffet is getting bigger. Or the house of your sister. Like, what the heck? Look how clear the details, brother. No more confusion. Or the house of your fathers. You already... Uh, the house of your fathers? Ah, the house of your fathers' brothers? Uh, that's mean the uncles. Or the house of... Are you going to count for me all the cousins and the cousins? This is God. This is this is the miraculous Quran. Or of your father, sisters. Or the house of your mother, brothers. Or the house of the mothers of your sisters. Mm -hmm. Are we going to stop in certain point or we continue? Things continue. Wherefore you hold your keys, or whatever house you hold the keys to it, though. So if I am a real estate agent, and the guy, he gave me the key to show his house, I can eat his food in his refrigerator? <laughs> miraculous. 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 Oh, yeah. Hmm. 
Man, who can make Quran like this? Who can? Nobody. Do we have any Muslim? Anyone? You know, when you read the Quran, you will see that this is written by a grandma. She never been in a school. She is bored. She want to do gossip about the neighbors. I will give you an example of high secret. Like what they call it, like in the CIA secret. You know, like this is this is uh, this is in the vault of the CIA. I remember. This is chapter 66, verse number three. Remember. Hmm, when the prophet S.A.W., this is like shortwave, disclosed a matter in confidence to one of his wives, between bracket Hafsa. So when she told it to others, i.e. Aisha, <laughs> and Allah made it known to him, like what? <laughs> informed him of a part and he did not inform him of the other part <laughs> so brothers and sisters uh, Hafsa she went to Aisa she told Aisa Prophet he told me that uh, I swear by Allah this one Muhammad he slept with Mary the Copt she got inside she found the, the, the legs of of, uh, of Mary the Copt around the neck of Muhammad like like the ears of a, of a donkey so Hafsa she uh, uh, Muhammad he promised her that I will never sleep with her again and he promised her even something higher you know like uh, I, will, I will reward you so uh, Hafsa she went to Aisha yeah Aisha the prophet told me this following things it's a secret okay don't tell anyone Aisha she told the other wives the other wives told the other wives the other wives told the other wives the other wives told the other wives and then the news came to Muhammad and Muhammad claimed that Allah he told him but he did not tell him all the secret what happened he told him part of it <laughs> Then, when he told her, Hafsa, they're off, she said, who told you this? <laughs> he told her, the all-knower Allah. <laughs> I mean, the whole town, she knew the secret now, and like, who told you this? Wow! You tell two women in the Middle East now, not 1400 years century, the whole city will know the news already. <laughs> Who told you that? <laughs> and Allah writing this in the Quran? What is this? My mom, she told her mom that, he, that her husband, he told that husband, and she told her not to tell about what the husband told her. And then, the, my, my, you know, the, the, my neighbor, she told my mom, okay, I will not tell my friends, okay? Uh, you know, and then I, I would go only share it only with the close one to me. And she told her daughters, and her daughters, they told her husband, and the husband, they told the other wives, and the other wives, they told the other wives. This is Quran. This is the miraculous Quran. When Susu, she told Mimi, and Mimi told Susu, and then Susu, she told, I will not tell anyone except Fufi, Adida, and Cuckoo, and then Cuckoo, she read the news, and the news went all the way in Mecca, and then it turned back to Muhammad. If you go and read the interpretation, you would die laughing. This is the chapter 66, verse number 3. Oh boy. This is your official Islamic website explaining for the what happened, brother. Shall we go to Ibn Kathir or we stay here with uh, Ibn Abbas? <laughs> what a story. What a story, brother. 
This is deep. It's a miraculous language, brother. You know, uh, the second you speak Arabic, the second you will die laughing at this book. But what happened, people do not know what this book is about. I mean, they don't know the language. So we can say whatever we want about miraculous. The Quran is a book of error in grammar, book of, you know, okay, if, if we ask the Muslims, you see the word here? Let me show you a word. This should show you the, 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 the corruption of the Quran. See the word Samawat here? Samawat? This does not exist in the Quran. There is no such a word. Why? Because when they wrote the Quran, they wrote a wrong word. There's a word, is Samut. What is Samut? We never heard of such a word. Samut? Yeah, there is a word in Arabic, actually, Samut. But nobody use it. So when Al Farahidi, he decided to fix the Quran. Imagine, imagine a man fixing the Quran. So he said, "Well, here this is Samut. I'm, I'm using just my mouse to write it. We cannot use it. It's not right. We have to change it." To Samawat, because then the verse will make sense. With Samut, doesn't make sense. The verse with Samut, it is stupid. It's a dummy. It's garbage. There's no way God will say Samut. We will make a video later about it, maybe. So what he did, he start adding letters, changing the word, and the word Samut became Samawat. And I changed the Muslim to say, "You're lying." And this one is all over the Quran. This is one of many examples. Al-Farahidi is the one who created a new Quran with a new meaning. There is a huge difference between Samut and Samawat. This is just an example of how stupid this book is to the point a person, a human being, Correcting the grammar, the writing, the pronunciation, the spelling, and even changing words and changing letters in the Quran. No, actually, this word is exists in Arabic. Uh, we will talk about it later. The word Samut, when I say, what is that? We never heard of it because we don't, nobody use it. But it exists in Arabic. We will make a video about it maybe in the uh, in the coming week, and we will show you how the Quran is amazing to the point they need a guy. His name is Al Farahidi to change everything. He add the Hamza. He add everything. This book is made by a person. His name is Al Farahidi. This is not made by Allah. So when they say that this book is an amazing, miraculous Quran, if it's amazing, so why the Arab at that time, they laugh at it? How come they did not notice that it's amazing? Why they call it fairy tales, stupid book? How come they did not? Not only they did laugh at it, this is, we can write the same, and we can write better. They say to you that nobody can make Quran. Look what the Arab they said to Muhammad at that time. And when our revelation were are recited into them, they say, we have heard. If we wish, we can speak like this. Well, this is nothing but a stupid. Do you see it? So the Arab at that time, they said to Muhammad, this is a stupid book, man. We can write this. What is that? And actually, it's not a poetry. It's not a rap. It's the most stupid thing. There's no even, you know, Muhammad even, even he cannot do, uh, uh, like, write the, the Arabic correctly. Look, here he says, 
Asatir al awwalin Okay, so the end of the letter is Eem. You are making rap music? Good. So why you make it Aleem? Aleem have nothing to do with Eem. He could not find the word fit there, so he add Aleem. Then he switch from awwalin to Yaqstaghfirun. But this is not the same. Where is the music? Then from Yaqstaghfirun, Ya'lamun. <laughs> in case you do not know that the top poetry in the history of Arabia are Christians the poet man the top they are Arab Christians the Quran is a book of a fool and it's very well known in, in poetry that the, the 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 way better you are, the more you don't repeat the same words. So you see those poetries like a thousand line, a thousand two hundred line, but they don't repeat the same line twice. This is how powerful they are in Arabic. This guy he keep repeating the same thing because he is empty. I will give you an example. The Quran today remind me of a, of a kid, he, he did not pass the high school. And he decided to make rabbi music. Read with me in love. Okay. <clears throat> This is a chapter 55 in the Quran. Which chapter? 55. Do you see how many times repeated the same verse? Why God, who have amazing Arabic language, he cannot find different center? Why are you repeating the same thing? Are you out of words? <laughs> what is this? What is this garbage presenting? If God is God, God, he can come with the best language. But God, he repeat the same sentence every two seconds. He is out of words. Isn't it? Is it? This is actually this is an insult for somebody claiming to be God to repeat the same sentence over and over and over. I mean, are you blind? Are you deaf? Are you stupid? We got it. And if you read it, you will see how stupid the challenge. Like here. Oh, company of jinn and men, if you have the power to penetrate the heaven and the earth, penetrate them, but you will never penetrate them, save in our sanctions and the sanctions for the Prophet. And now we know that the space, the men, they went to the space. Allah is challenging men and genie to go out to the, the, the space. Do you see the stupidity? A clear proof that Quran is a fraud. He challenged a human being and genie to go out of the earth. Because only angels and only prophet they can go. So what this guy with his name Alan Musk, whatever his name, he's doing like trip. Who wanna go, by the way, the next weekend they are going. Who wanna go? Ticket for five dollars. It's going to be very cheap soon, just wait. In the beginning, it's expensive. Soon, it's going to be maybe for fifty dollars. Just wait. And the Quran claim, miraculous Quran claim that if you try to pass the zone of the earth, Allah will shoot your ass with fire with copper. That's deep. Look at this. If you try, Allah will fire at your ass with the flesh of a brass and you will not escape, brother. Do you see it?
So when the Abdul they say, the Quran is a miraculous book in Arabic. We agree. It's a miracle that a stupid book like this called miracle. That is the only miracle I see because you have to be so stupid to say such a thing. But the important today that this potato, he cannot wash out what he did today, the damage he did to Islam. Muhammad is not Abrahamic. Put it in your nose, Muslims. Put it in your ears, Muslims. Muhammad was a pagan from the pagan and he never was Abrahamic. And Moses, things that he wouldn't have known because yeah. you know he couldn't read or write, right? Uh. Yeah, and then like amazing, miraculous things. When Gabriel started coming more often, he told him, I'm Gabriel, yeah. I'm bringing the message to you. And then he'll bring news to him of the past about like what happened with Joseph and Moses, things that he wouldn't have known because yeah. you know he couldn't read or write, right? Uh. Yeah, and then like amazing, miraculous things like linguistic miracles. That and by the way, this guy in the front of him, I can't tell he's a smart person. I don't know who's he, but he's looking at his ear in front of him. He says, yeah, yeah, but he did not tell him from the beginning, right? <laughs> the yeah, Arab poets yeah. couldn't respond to. Yeah. So that's cool. That's so cool. Did he, know, he didn't know it was Gabriel. The angel didn't tell him it was Gabriel. He did. He did. He did. <laughs> he did. He did. He did. He did. He did. Show him. He did. He did. See how we get him busted? In the beginning, he did not know that this is Jabir. No, no, he did. He did. Show us. Potato. Sure. Any later? No, no, even at that time, right? No, but but time. I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. See? So I am very thankful for this gentleman, whoever is he. If you know him, say hello to him from me, Christian Prince. Because because of this question, he forced this potato to say something else. Just by saying, but he did not tell him from the beginning. He said, no, it is, it is. But remember, remember, now he, he made him go and explain more. Muhammad was not from the Abrahamic faith. So Muhammad did not know who is this guy, Jibreel. He have no idea. He never heard of him. He's a pagan. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Yeah. He came from Britney Spears faith. He's uh, coming from the faith of uh, Joe Biden. You know the thing. Now, the thing is created, the whole thing, you know? I mean, you know the thing. So Muhammad for 40 years confirmed. I want everybody to download these videos. You can cut the, short, the part where I could get him busted because the video become long and post it there. Let everybody laugh. When they say to you, Muhammad was Abrahamic, show them our hero. This is a hero. This is the hero of the day today. Sheikh Uthman. Thank you, Sheikh Uthman. May Allah. Let me make some dua for you, friend. May Allah give you a lot of versions. And each time you make them inversions, Allah, he put his finger there and version them again. May Allah give you the promise of one mile ass, as the Prophet said, so you can do hiking on it. But don't forget, it might be so slippery because Allah in the Hadith says that he is going to take him 1,000 years to smooth it. I mean, it's very important for God to smooth an ass. This is Islam, my friend. Only in Islam those things happen. Uh, we have, uh, I'm a Muslim, call me. Uh, okay, let's see, this guy is excited. <clears throat> Hello. Hello. Yes, about him saying that he's not Abraham, it's his own opinion, it's not everyone's opinion. Uh, so you Muslims can say your opinion about Islam is not like he's a sheikh. Say that again? He's a sheikh, this guy is a sheikh, he claimed to be a sheikh, he is the one who read the prayer in the mosque. So you Muslims, you hire yes. somebody like this? As you said, he's claiming and his claim is not right. So you, what is your, what is your claim? Are you, are you saying he is not telling the truth? No, he's not telling the truth. He's a liar. He's a liar. Okay. What? Why he is a liar? Because everyone knows. Uh, what's your question? The question is, I mean, you are telling me he's a liar. You're telling me what is the question? You said he's a liar. You said he's a liar because of what? 
He said, as long as that Abraham, because I didn't listen carefully. Okay, no, you you listen to him. That's why you are calling me, and that's why you call him liar. So you call him liar without listening. You listen to him saying he is not Abrahamic. I just heard that part. Okay, so what is the proof that Muhammad was Abrahamic? Prove him wrong. Get him busted. Go ahead. Abrahamic means anyone that submits to the God of Abraham, Allah. That friend, is that friend, is Abrahamic. Yeah. This guy is saying that before Muhammad became a prophet, he was not following any religion. He was a pagan. We heard him saying, remember, he was from the pagan. He said that. So Muhammad. Mm -hmm. be that's, his, that's his opinion. That's our opinion. Okay. Can you prove him wrong? Before, when Muhammad became 40, then according to you Muslims, according to Sheikh Uthman, he became suddenly, now he switched to follow Abraham. But do you have a proof that before that date, Muhammad was following Abraham. Yes, Google, Google, and see he he went to the mountain and he prayed. What he went to the mountain? He prayed. So what? Maybe he he maybe he was prayed for the chicken. Where it says he was praying to a God of Abraham? Can you show me? It was only himself. I can show you something. No, you you have to. You said he was praying, but praying the, the pagan they pray too. They pray to idols. They pray to to lizard. They pray to monkeys. I mean, there's tons of religions. So he was praying to who? In chapter in chapter 42, verse number 52, it says that Muhammad never have faith and do not know any scriptures. Are you against the Quran? It doesn't say never have faith. It says that. Here we go. Read it. Read it. Go ahead. Hold on a second. Okay. It says you don't know what is the book. Exactly. It doesn't, and you don't, doesn't and say you have no faith. It says, continue. Why you stop, my friend? Like you, you are like an old car without oil. Nor what is faith? You see it? Or show the Arabic. Ah, you know Arabic? Okay, here we go. Even this better. Here we go. Read it. ما كنت تدري ما الكتاب ولا الإيمان. so. hold on a second. read read in Arabic read and I want to hear in Arabic. ما كنت تدري ما ما الكتاب ولا الإيمان ولا كان جاهلنا ويدورنا في بيت من الشو. You are in Arabic now? Kind of Arabic, this Arabic is. Are this, are, now you are in Arabic? You aren't in Arab. Why you are you saying to me, show me in Arabic? You are lying. You don't know Arabic. So it says he don't have faith. So Sheikh Uthman, may Allah bless his private part. He said the truth. Muhammad never been Abrahamic. He was a pagan. He kissed the black stone, which is the vagina of the goddess, and he worshipped them. So until that point, Muhammad, he did not know what is God, because he did not believe in any scriptures. He don't have any scriptures. He never heard of any scriptures. And he have zero faith. Hold on, I have to check the tafsir for that verse, because I haven't read tafsir for that verse. So are you saying to me the Quran cannot be understood by Allah explanation? You need a tafsir of a human being to understand it? Thank you, Allah. So how the Quran is a miraculous then? If we cannot understand... Of course, when you book, when you... Hold when on, hold on, hold on. Uh, you know, I'm going hold on, no problem. We can, go, we, can go to the we can go to the interpretation, but this is how funny it is. If the Quran is a miraculous book to the point that we cannot understand the miraculous book without going to an idiot. So who is the one who wrote the Quran? Obviously, is an idiot because we cannot understand what Allah is saying unless we go. I mean, it's so clear in front of us says, nor what is faith. Even this one, you need interpretation. <laughs> so what's my, the chapter? What's, so, the, what's the chapter? He did not know even what the chapter we are talking about. Take care, my friend. Take care. I mean, what's wrong with those Muslims? I'm wasting my time. I put it in the front of him. He is calling me to talk about it. You know, and then what is what the chapter? The same as the other guy. What what uh, what chapter? What verse? They call me to talk about it. They don't know what is a chapter. What is the verse? 
And I am a Christian prince who is a Christian who know the Quran more than the God. What chapter? What chapter we are talking about? What chapter is that chapter? I say to you, chapter 42, verse number 52, when you were calling me, but you are very nervous. But who care? It says, nor what is faith. It's so clear. You do not know. You know not. You know not. You know not. You are not Muslims. Can't you read? You know not. You knew not. I mean, how clear we made it. You knew not. This is Indian way. You know, you know, I love Indian movies, by the way. I think this guy is from India. I love Indian people. Like Indian movies, like the guy, supposedly he got killed. Somebody put a dagger in his chest and suddenly like 10,000 people dancing. Like, what the heck? What the, where did these people come from? You know, like, I love Indian movies. But Indian movies make more sense than the Quran. I mean, just forget about the 10,000 people who jump in the movie from the middle of nowhere and God knows who's singing and the dance have nothing to do with the story and where these people come from it's okay it's a miracle but the Quran is the most stupid book at least in the Indian movie there's like a beautiful dance at least like some music like you know like wow wonderful you know I feel myself going to the heaven of Allah and the virgin around me. But here, he cannot understand the Quran, even the simple verse. He said, I need to go to the center. I mean, do you see how miraculous the language of the Quran to the point? We cannot understand such a simple word. You know not. Uh, I need to need the interpretation about this one. Brother, it's very, this is very uh, hard to understand. It says, you know not. What would you think it's mean? Brother, I think when he said he know not, it's mean he knew a lot. Mm -hmm. You think so, brother? Yeah, because Allah, when he says something, he means the opposite. As an example, when Allah, he said, oh, angels bow down to Adam, he meant shaitan. What the heck? Yes, the Quran says so. Allah, he ordered the angels to bow down, he get upset from shaitan. But shaitan is not an angel in Islam. It's like saying all dogs say how, and then the cat, she is there, she did not to say how, she's a cat. Allah get upset from the cat. You said, why you don't say how? The cat, she said, meow, meow, I'm cat, you idiot. You said dogs. You said dogs. <laughs> no, I'm done for today, my friend. Yeah. <laughs> God is genius. His name is Allah. And he hired the best of the intelligent people in the world to defend him and to prove in front of you. Remember, Prophet Muhammad was pagan. He was a lot of pagan. He was pagan shish kebab, pagan hummus, all kind of pagan. What kind of pagan, by the way, he was? He did, he did, he did, sure. No, no, even at that time, right? But, but I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Uh -huh. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Uh -huh. But I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Uh -huh. Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. <laughs> this is the best comedy for today. I want to say thank you guys for being here. I have some work to do. Uh, today is Sunday. And as you know, I have four wives, alhamdulillah. And uh, I'm thinking to divorce four of them and get married four. So we can spread the spread. We can spread the faith, and we spread a lot of faith by you know boom boom. So you know like you know, and this is a wisdom of Allah. And you know, it's true that none of us knows what Allah He mean in the Quran. It's true that each one of Sheikh He says his own opinion and things is messed up. It's true that the Muslims when they read the Quran, everyone he's got his own like a wonderful story. Uh, it's true. That Islam is very, uh, uh, Prophet Muhammad was inspired, but he never received inspiration. He received delivery from a guy, his name is Zibril. And Zibril, brother, uh, did I say Zibril? Ah, now I know where this commercial break is coming from. The board. <laughs> Don't forget the board. <laughs> commercial break. Hello, Habibis. 
If you would like the support Christian Brins, please go to Patreon and show your support. www.patreon.com slash Christian Prince. We thank you all for your kindly support and enjoy the video. Okay, guys, we thank you very much for the support. And may Allah support uh, brother uh, Sheikh Uthman. We hope all the support will come to you from the Muslims from now on, especially after you made it clear that the Prophet Muhammad is not Abrahamic. Remember, he was pagan from the pagan brother. And remember, brother, he is not Abrahamic no more. He doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Yeah. He does not know what Gabriel is. What he knew then. I mean, the guy he never heard of Gabriel. <laughs> remember, Muslims, he never heard what Gabriel is. That means he never heard the story of Mary. He never heard the stories of any prophet before. So he was a truly pure pagan. Because this is the only way to explain how he never heard who is Gabriel before. That means this person has nothing to do, period, with the Abrahamic faith. He never heard who is Gabriel. Never heard. It's not me who said that. It is brother Osman. May Allah bless you. My friend uh, Osman allowed me to call you from now on, brother. You are the best. Forget about the rest. You're getting choppy, but you make me happy. And you know what? Allah will bless you. A lot. He did, he did, he did, sure. No, no, even at that time, right? But but I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. Amazing, so beautiful. So I want to say thank you, guys. And thank you, Sheikh Uthman. Today you say the truth, and the truth is going to set all the Muslims free. Muhammad never know who is Gabriel, which means he never heard of any story about the Abrahamic faith. For you will find that Gabriel is all over. Muhammad was a pure pagan, idol, potato, black stone kisser, liquor worshipper. Thank you, Uthman. Priceless speech. And now a lot of people will convert to Islam. And the guy who called me and he says Sheikh Uthman is a liar, the one who do anything for the video, don't forget to add that. Like he's a liar. He's a liar. He's a liar. He's a liar. So the second you say to Muslims the truth, even if you are a Muslim, they say he's a liar. Did you notice, brother? The guy is a Muslim. They were supporting him yesterday. This is the same what they did with the, what is this guy, his name? The hole in the narrative? Uh, 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 Yasser Qadi. Yasser Qadi was a sikh. He is the Ustad of Mimi Hijab. He do interview him, which means he is higher than him, because you don't interview a guy asking him a question about Quran unless you agree that he is your master. The second the master said something truthful, there's holes in the narrative. The Muslim, they start putting holes in his bum. Respond to Yasser Qadi. A, a, a refutation for you. Yes. Well, no. I mean, if you go and search on YouTube about how many videos the Muslim made to refute Zak Yasser Qadi, you cannot believe every Muslim refuted him. Yesterday was a hero. Today, he's not. So thank you, Uthman. Thank you, everybody. And we will see you soon again. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. And you are, if you are a person who subscribe already, don't forget to unsubscribe. Because if you do so, subscribe and subscribe, Allah will double your reward, as He said in the Quran. Because subscribing to me is a bad deed. But when you unsubscribe, Allah will give you a double deed, so you will win one deed in your pocket. Think about it. You get lose one dollar, and then you win two. Wow, that's deep. What a good business thank you god bless you uh muhammad is from the lineage of ishmael like, how is it from the lineage of ishmael if ishmael did not speak arabic and ishmael according to you muslim he married an arab woman which means the arabs exist before him secondly ishmael he married from jerham and jerham are the enemy of Quraysh. 
<laughs> according to you. <laughs> and if he is, he is from Abraham, from Ishmael or not, that will not change anything. He's a pagan. So are you saying to me, if Ishmael have sex with your mother, that make you a prophet? That's a good deal. <laughs> Brother Ishmael, he did have sex with the grand, 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 grand mother of Muhammad. Man, Muhammad is from the penis of Ishmael. That make him holy, special, special penis for a special prophet. Makes sense. I mean, the stupidity is amazing. And even the Quran says that we made the seeds, or let's say we made from the lineage of Abraham, and he named Isaac and Jacob. Specifically, that where the prophethood will come from. So even your stupid Quran getting you busted. Even your stupid Quran say clearly that we made from the lineage of Abraham, Jacob, and Isaac, and those are going to be where a prophethood will come from chapter 6 verse number 84 this is why we say the quran all this here written by an idiot do you see it from the seed of who of abraham which seed isaac and who and jacob who will be will be the prophets stupidity is amazing all the prophets is mentioned here is from Isaac and Jacob what is Muhammad and by the way why Muhammad don't say in the Quran his God don't say he is a son of Ishmael maybe Allah he forgot huh why he remember Musa is, is from the seed of who? Suleiman from the seed of who? Job from the seed of who? Joseph from the seed of who? But you don't remember Muhammad is from the seed of who? <coughs> All right. So thank you guys for being here. Otherwise, I will never finish. And uh, I don't want to finish with commercial break because that will break uh, our YouTube pieces. And then YouTube will be upset from me. Uh, because YouTube, they don't like the, such a kind of a, a very sexy commercial break. So we will finish with the last statement from Brother Uthman. May Allah bless him, for he brought victory to Allah today. So that's cool. That's but cool. He, know, he didn't know it was Gabriel. The angel didn't tell him it was Gabriel. He did. He did. He did. Sure. Any later? No, no. Even at that so, time, right? But, but I mean, again, he, he doesn't know who Gabriel is, right? Uh, because he didn't come from an Abrahamic faith. He did not know who his Gabriel is because he did not come from Abrahamic faith. Muhammad don't know who is Gabriel is. Muhammad do not know who is Gabriel is. Because he did not come from Abrahamic faith. Thank you. I hope you like it today. It was a movie directed by director Uthman Ibn Farooq and the song written by Uthman Ibn Farooq and the music written by the devil Allah. Thank you very much and see you soon. This is your brother Christian Prince was spanking Allah as usual as a practice to expose the lies of the devil. We love the Muslims but we will not love Satan. We will expose Satan and Satan and Allah they share a lot of things in fact, they are both are the same, just different name, different form. He changed his name. Thank you. God bless you. Christ is Lord. Islam is a scam. And we prove it every day.